take. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. In this video, we are going to talk about a very tricky interview question that is labels in Java. People will deliberately ask this question just to check your basics of uh, Java or Java knowledge with respect to labels. Yes, we are going to talk about labels. Do we have labels in Java? Yes, we have that. So what do you mean by label? For example, between these two statements, I'm writing HTTP colon, and then I'm writing, let's see, two forward slash java.com. If you write it like this. So what will be the output of this program? And now you're totally confused that this double slash is used for the label. I mean, used for the comment, actually not a label, but this HTTP colon is not giving you any error. So first, let me run it. And let's see, is it really working or not? Or it's giving you any compile time error or not? See, it's not giving you any compile time error. It's printing hello and then okay, bye. It's getting printed on the console. But you must be confusing that, okay, why it is not giving any red line error or any syntax error for this? Because this is not a comment. This is called a label, guys. Label means any keyword or any word that you can write. And after that, you just need to write colon. It will become a label. And this is behaving like a comment over here. You can write any comments. That's why obviously Java will not entertain this particular line will not compile this code but here this particular http if you write let's see for naveen also this naveen become a label now so when you run this program once again see it's absolutely working fine so label generally we don't use it uh, very frequently or very commonly but yeah this is what you can use that but if you write double slash naveen then in that way now this entire line got commented and then this is not considering as a label here right any practical example? Yes, we can do that. For example, we can use with the help of for loop. So let's say I'm going to create a label. My label name is, for example, anything. Let's see a task label. Okay, put a colon. I'm writing a for loop. Let's say I'm printing simple integer i is equal to 0 less than i less than equal to 10. I'm printing from 0 to 10. And then I'm writing that system dot or print and print the value of i. And then I'm writing one if condition that if, uh, let's see, i is equal to equal to 5 then do what then i'm saying that um, break what break this particular task that's it so you can write it like this also because this task is behaving like a label now and then you can simply write break this particular task it means break this complete loop from here so let's see what is the output here so if you run this here you can see 0 to 5 getting printed the moment i will become fine it will immediately break this entire task so we have labeled this entire for loop with this particular task. It means break this particular task. Like that, you can use it over here. Although it's not mandatory to use task. If you remove it, you simply break it, then also it will work. That is also fine, but this is just of a, let's see if you really want to tag something or really want to put a label for the specific code. And for that way, you can use it and then you can simply break the task like that. Especially when you have, let's see, two for loops. For that purpose, you can have it. So for example, let's say I'm just, I'm already having one program. I'm just going to copy paste that. For example, let's say I'm using it here like this, see this. So here you can see that this is my outer loop label and this is my inner loop label. And I'm just printing i equal to zero, i less than five, j equal to zero, j less than five. If i is not equal to j, then you simply print that, okay, fine. If blocks value of something, I'm printing it here. And uh, otherwise you go to the else part. If i is not equal to j, then it's saying that, okay, break the outer loop. It means break this entire for loop, the first for loop, and then uh, system dot or print else block value z, and then you continue with the inner loop. So what will happen in that way? I equal to zero first time, fine. J equal to zero. I is not equal to j. It will go to the else part. It means continue the inner loop. First, it will print else block value i, that is zero, and then continue the inner loop. Inner loop means it will just come over here and continue this particular loop. So when you have the nested for loops or nested if conditions, you can put the are labels like that then again j equal to 1 i is equal to 0 0 is not equal to j right in that way the condition is true and it will print if blocks value of i once again 0 and then break the outer loop it means break this complete loop and come out of this particular program so let's see is it really working or not okay so i'm going to run it let's see so here you can see that yes uh if blocks value zero and if uh, else block value zero and if block value zero getting printed here so see this is simple labels that i have created you can write any keyword whatever that you really want to write outer loop inner loop second loop third loop fourth loop or any task or any label that you want to create you can create and you can tag that particular for loop or condition or anything just like we did it over here as well like that so this is the concept of labeling i hope you <laughs> Uh, you got understood and I'm pretty much sure most of the people they are not aware of it if they are 
asking the question, don't assume that, okay, this is, it should show some compile time error or something like that. No, this is an, a uh, kind of label. Although this label, we are not using it. That's why it's giving you the yellow line warning. It's saying that the label Nabi is never explicitly referenced. It means we are not using this particular label. Then why are you using it? But same thing for the task. It's not giving you any yellow line warning. Okay, so that's all for this particular video, guys. I hope you liked it. You got some really cool concept of Java with respect to labeling. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.